Hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Tutu Tur from Nagaland. That's in India, extreme corner of India, Northeast India border with Myanmar. And here is my wife. Hi, I'm uh, Chita Tur, but most of my friends call me Achi. And this is our little baby, first uh, born, Irafi Hana Tur. She is one year and four months. Yeah, we've known each other since childhood. Uh, we, we come from a very community-based society, so we kind of like know each and everyone in the village. So we're from the same village. And when we came here, we were already engaged. So we came as an engaged couple and studied. And in between that, we got married. And uh, he graduated, we had a baby, and I'm still studying. <laughs> <laughs> we came to APNTS uh, in the year 2015. And uh, I have been enrolled in HCD PhD program. Uh, yeah, we came together, so it was in 2015, yeah. And I, I was enrolled in MD in Intercultural Studies, which I graduated in 2018. So, yeah, MD in Intercultural Studies. I would say divine intervention. <laughs> yeah, that's really true because when we came to the Philippines, uh, we were kind of looking at uh, another school, but uh, we got to know APNTS through a friend. And when we came to visit, we really fell in love with the campus and everything in APNTS. And I especially was attracted towards the PhD HCD program. And he also, I that's think, holistic child development. Holistic yeah. child development, yes. Yeah, I I came to do MD, but it was my aim was to do a uh, biblical study. But uh, towards like when I joined and tried to study biblical study, I think I noticed that that's not for you. It was too hard for me, and I don't really have the gift of that. But I I found out that I was interested in mission, and I think intercultural studies fit in there and we have intercultural studies here so I changed it to uh, MD in intercultural studies and I think I have learned a lot from uh, the, this program and I, I praise God that I changed it to intercultural studies. I think coming here to Philippines and particularly to APNTS, it was challenging because, uh, uh, to be honest, finance was a problem for me. But when uh, I went through that, I think I became stronger because I know it, it was not easy not having like uh, support from home and support from friends. And by faith, we took a step of faith. And when I came here, I think God opened the door for me. And, I got the scholarship uh, through a PND that was from UCM uh, Union Church of Manila. So in my third semester, I started getting my full scholarship, and so I think I uh, my faith is tested, but it was not easy. At the same time, it was a great experience for me to experience God's provision, like not having hope from home, but I found hope here itself. In a, in a place where I took a step of faith, so yeah. But maybe my wife can also add some more to it. Yeah, I think uh, we have learned so much, not just from classroom teachings and uh, um, and the content that we learned from our courses, but also from our friends, intercultural friends, living in the dorms with different cultures, and uh, living with professors in the campus who really show an exemplary character of what. Christ likeness is in different different ways and all uh, and yeah so all these things all these experiences have really impacted us and this is what we have become I think we have become more um, well I won't say closer to God because we're all, always kind of close to God in different ways but I think we have uh, not become to know God more and more through the people around us yeah I I got an opportunity to serve small church uh, that called the Grace International Fellowship 
So it really helped me a lot because I was doing intercultural studies and I got an opportunity to expose, uh, to experience, like first-hand experience in an intercultural setting where uh, I don't just read or learn in the class, but I was also having the first uh, experience. So it was a great uh, opportunity to serve the Filipino church. And we also have uh, uh, other uh, like uh, people, not only from the Philippines. So it was really an experience for me to uh, exercise what I'm learning from the school to the ministry that I, uh, the ministry I was called to. Also, I got to experience uh, teaching children and being in the children ministry in the same church that he was pastoring, that he is still pastoring. So we are really glad that we were able to be in the ministry while we are studying. We always say this, that we don't want to have a specific specific plan because everything uh, should be or needed to be need to be directed by God. So if we stick to one specific plan and if it doesn't come true, then we might get disappointed along the way. So our answer in the past and even at the present and I hope in the future will be this, that we are open to any opportunities that God will give us. So. I think uh, we have both decided to say yes if you know, wherever God calls us, wherever God calls us. So we are quite flexible and open in that area. I think uh, if yeah, if there is anybody who wants to be a missionary, I think this is the right place for you. And also for like different ministry, yeah. I think we have HCD, we have intercultural studies, we have theology, we have biblical studies and all those. So this can be a right place for you to equip yourself to be more effective in the ministry that you're called. And the best thing is you will have the intercultural experience here because we have students from different cultures. So you will experience that your worldview will be, you will have a different uh, understand and you will understand others' worldview, which will be very useful in the ministry that you will serve here. And also to add that, one of the highlights I should say about APNTS is the library. <laughs> I always say this, I really like, I've been to other uh, seminaries and other schools and I've checked out their library and uh, I think I'm partial towards the APNTS library because it's really one of the best that I've seen with the content that is available in the library. and. Also, why one would uh, like to do, uh, if I would suggest to someone who is considering APNTS, yes, they should really come because we have got awesome, awesome professors and uh, also the facilities and the beautiful campus. campus. I yes. think also for <laughs> families who are opting to come here, then I think it's uh, one of the safest for people who have children and families. So, yes, it's a yes. <laughs> Like I said, it was more on the finance because not only the learning, but I really experienced God because of my financial status because it was really a state of faith for me. So, when, like there was time like I feel like giving up also because I have to go and uh, like every time the registration time come, I have to go and face them, explain why I cannot pay them and they will ask me when should I pay and I cannot give them the time, but I always say, I don't know the date, but I will surely pay because deep inside I believe that God will provide me. So, like it was every registration time, I'm the only one who don't pay, and I will say that. But I, what I have experienced is all my fees will be covered up, and even my dorm fees. I never pay my dorm fee, but the opportunity here, the swap opportunity that we have, so I was able to cover up all this. So towards the end, I think I, for me, APNT is this always prepare never turn back but soar higher above the problems that we have been renewed and been stronger so that is what i i think that's what i learned especially that is from uh isaiah chapter 14 verse uh i think 30 yeah well um been here for quite a long time now i said we came in 2015 i've seen uh, many Friends graduate and go, <laughs> and every time they graduate, I kind of feel of, um, 
I'm not that way. I need to hurry, but I kind of feel a pang in my heart. But I've learned that we all have different seasons, and we all have our own uh, seasons of struggle, season of joy, season of everything, learning, and uh, I've learned to tell this myself while remaining here at the end. Each of us have our own seasons and whatever season we are experiencing, uh, let's just be content with whatever it is and just trust God that our own season will come.